The Excel app lets you take a picture of a printed data table and then it converts it into a fully editable table in Excel. G'day everybody, what a year it's been. I'm here back in the Windows 10 video editor, which you can find in the start menu. If you type in video editor, and I'm here. Hi Mark. We're excited and delighted to be invited. Provided you stay and care what we share. Our top tips and tricks of 2019. What an ensemble and perfect to kick off our holiday recap of the year in EDU. Hello there, Mike Dolphson here. We've made a bunch of amazing and inclusive updates for learning tools over the past year. We've added Picture Dictionary, which is as helpful as it sounds. For example, shoe. And we've also added Translate, so now you can translate by word or the entire document. We've also made the Immersive Reader as a service available to any other app or service to integrate themselves which means Immersive Reader is available to all my friends around the world now. We've even added dictation into Office, and it's free. Thanks, Mike. We love the Immersive Reader. And in addition to launching the tool on Flipgrid Topic Text, you can launch the Immersive Reader on every video transcript. This is in addition to all the incredible ways you and your scholars can share their voice with the powerful new Flipgrid camera. Students can now stitch together clips, add live inking over videos, toggle on filters, use the whiteboard mode, or more. Quick tip, Flipgrid is so immersive, it got me thinking about this Flipgrid playlist of teaching tips on Minecraft Education Edition from educators all around the globe. And since we're talking about Minecraft, don't miss the new Hour of Code. It's free, it's quick, and it's super fun. Flipgrid enables you to empower every voice. And now you can do so in augmented reality with Flipgrid AR. To share how you can launch this revolutionary new tool, I'm excited to throw it over to these interactive educators, the Merrill. Thanks, Ann. Merrill's here. Hi. So we've been using Flipgrid AR to engage our entire school community, our students, our faculty, our families, and our friends. Let's show you an example. Recently, our school honored veterans at a Veterans Day assembly. Before they left, we invited veterans to take home all the student work. Our class attached a sweet personalized message with each note, and it was a great way to add a personal touch. Watching Flipgrid AR make learning and sharing come to life is definitely a memorable experience. How fun. Looks like this QR code leads to a video from our friend, Leslie Fisher. Leslie, go ahead and share your tip. Thanks, guys. I actually show the Flipgrid AR and QR feature quite a bit when I'm presenting. As Flipgrid talks about, it's all about empowering student voice, but not only that, it's empowering the teacher voices. And we want to make sure that we have both teachers and students that have multiple ways to communicate, and not just that, are communicating effectively. Which is why I want to talk to you about a tool that I adore that's in PowerPoint called Presenter Coach. Presenter Coach will listen to you present and provide guidelines along the way. It's available on PowerPoint for the web. Simply go to Slideshow and you'll see an option that says Rehearse with Coach. Click on Rehearse with Coach. It's going to ask for access to your microphone and off you go. Start presenting. And it's going to do things like listen to pacing and tell you if you're talking too fast or too slow. It's going to listen to make sure you're not using filler words like hmm, ah, uh, well. Also, it's going to listen to make sure that you're not using phrases that might be insensitive for some areas. For example, saying you guys, which is something you guys always say. It's going to make sure that you're not reading to the slides. It does that and a host of other things. And when you're all done, it creates a report for you. Overviews, your pace, issues you might have run into. And if you said something they think you could rephrase differently, it'll even give you suggestions for that as well. If you haven't checked this out yet, try it out. Microsoft PowerPoint Presenter Coach. Not just handy for students helping them present, but also for educators. Thanks guys, have a great day. Try Presenter Coach if you're gonna love it. Hey again, Mike here. There's nothing quite like saving teachers time and Teams is the life simplifying hub that brings together conversations, apps, content, and assignments. In the past year, 
We've had so many updates to Teams. Simplified UI, rating in one place, grade sync, import your OneNote content, and the plagiarism checker with Turnitin. If you want to see all these updates and a whole lot more, visit the blog and check everything out in Teams in your desktop or the browser. Here's another quick tip for a helpful solution that launched in 2019, the Microsoft Education Center. Check out education.microsoft.com to explore free professional development tools for educators just like you and more. Thanks, Mark. Hello from Canada. It's zero degrees Celsius here or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. One of the best things about having access to digital tools is that, is that students can begin to self-advocate. They can begin to answer the metacognitive question, what do I need to improve on? That's where the feature of Microsoft Forms and OneNote comes in. When they're working on a question where they can get better with practice, Forms will generate them more questions similar to the one that they have been challenged by. Let's look at an example from my grade nine class. When they're working on solving equations involving distribution, they can circle a question and ask Forms to generate a quiz with similar questions to practice on, and then see if they got them correct. So if I take two bracket x plus three equals 12, circle it, click the math button, ask it to generate the solution, I can get more questions based upon that template and see if I understand what's going on. It works up on, on up through algebra, take a quadratic expression, x squared plus seven x plus 12, factor it, generate more quizzes based upon that particular template. And even into calculus, x squared plus seven x plus 12, I can ask to differentiate with respect to x and generate more differentiation questions based on that. Back to you, Mark. Wow, what an exciting year and with some amazing new faces. We want to send a special welcome to the over 9,600 new educators that were added to the MIE expert team. We hope that you all enjoy these tips and you can try them out next year on one of these beauties. Now don't roll the dice when it comes to your device. You'll find more information about these in the link below. Well, that's it. That's a wrap for this episode of What's New in EDU. Thanks to all my friends. We're primed and ready for next year and beyond. So from all of us here at Microsoft, see you next time.